Hello everyone and welcome back to Besiege. Before we start, I just want to say that I have an extra copy of Besiege right now. So if you would like it, there will be a link down below and you can enter the giveaway. You don't have to do anything special, you don't have to subscribe or like or do any of that stupid stuff. All you gotta do is just enter the giveaway and you could possibly win it. So we're gonna get started today on the sandbox mode. Uh, I told you guys that if you wanted to send in your own creations, you could. I should have been more clear. Uh, the best way to actually send it in is to use my business email on the about page. And then you don't even have to uh, upload it anywhere. You can just upload it right in the email and send it to me. But anyway, I got three designs today I'm gonna check out. I'm not really sure who they're from. I just downloaded them and threw them in the folder. So let's have a look. Okay, so the first one is called Forklift. I don't really see any lifting going on here. Oh, yes I do. Yes, I do. This thing has a lift. I think we should lift this dude up over here. One of the dudes up over here. Let's give it a try. Okay. It's a little bit bouncy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to kill you. Wasn't trying to kill you. Okay, I can't reach him. I can't reach him with this device right now. What if we lowered it? I could lower it. Or I could try something else, I guess. Is there anything else I can grab here? At least it jumps. It can jump over people, I would assume. Whee! Ah, you're lucky you didn't get killed. Oh, okay, apparently you wouldn't get killed anyway. You can run right under the damn thing. Well, in that case, I'm gonna jump on you. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. We also have a tank. Holy crap, this thing is pretty damn cool. I am not gonna lie. Look at that. It's got spikes. It's got wheels. Looks like it can tilt or something. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't really see how to turn it. Oh, wait, it's slowly turning. Okay. See, I found that a new way you can actually turn things that works really well. Um, a couple people mentioned it actually. If you set it so that your wheels, um, they turn in different directions, one of the sets of wheels will turn in different directions when you press right and left. You can actually spin your vehicle like that. Oh, I see what they did. They used the spinny blocks here to actually spin it. So yeah, it actually spins down here as well. It's just, it spins really slow because spinny blocks don't work that well for that. Let's just go over and kill some people, huh? Wait, better camera angle. Here we go. There. Wreak some havoc. Let's go. Yay! Oh, I was gonna say they're all dead, but there was a couple people behind me. Now they're dead as well. I love it. Hey. Hey, sheep. Coming for you, bitch. Any second now. I'm gonna come over there and get you. Very, very slowly, because this thing doesn't turn the greatest. Just, just give me a second. There's no saving you now. Oh, I ran him over with the wheel. That wasn't what I meant to do. You had to run into the back of me. I was about to turn around and ram spikes into your face, and you ruined it. Okay, this one, ladies and gentlemen, is called The Plane. I was excited to see how this would work. It's pretty damn cool. Um, I don't know. Wait, hang on. We gotta start first. Okay. Oh, what the hell? What the hell are you doing? Oh, I kind of like that. So we just had to go forwards. And Oh, shit. Wrong button. Um, oh? Okay, I gotta find out what the buttons are. Can I actually spin here? Okay, I can't spin. Left shift. We're going up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hold on. Yes. Yes, we're going. We're doing it. Oh, God. This is terrible. This this is not working the way I thought it would. <laughs> it's a good good effort for sure. I don't know if I'd be able to improve on this design or not. I think I could. It was a, I was thinking about trying to make one. I don't even know which way I'm going anymore. I think I'm going down. Oh, I'm going up. And you see these you see these blocks on this now? There's actually an update. This game is on Steam now, and they added a bunch of blocks. Um, I don't know. I think it I think it was after the last video I did. But anyway, uh, you can actually adjust the size of those things. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Should not have spun my uh, wings so much. And uh, that is a plane. That 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 didn't work so well. But I have an amazing idea this time, guys. I was off in my spare time and I was thinking about it and I said to myself, I wonder if you could pick a dude up with one of those grabbers. And the answer is yes, you absolutely can do that. And I'm going to do it. I've actually already made a vehicle to try it out. It's called the crane, okay? Because it's a crane. Pretty straightforward, really. Um, so we're just going to drive over here, and I'll show you exactly how it works. And then we had to modify the crane so that it can pick people up, and we're going to make a torture device. Now, how does the H... There. Someone come over. I got to... Uh, come on. There. I got him. See this? Now he's my little bitch. He's so angry at me. Look at him. He's like, oh, put me down. Put me down, you son of a bitch. I don't want to be up here. You can actually, um, you can crush him in the ground. <laughs> yeah! And then you just, just, uh, just, just drop him. What's the drop button? Just, I don't know what the drop button is. I want to get rid of him. Get off me! So let's modify this thing so we can use it as a torture device, guys. That is my plan right now, and it's going to be amazing. I'm not really sure the best way to do this, but I'll figure it out. 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do before I do that, guys? I'm actually going to show you the uh, the new blocks, because I didn't do that. We now have... Let's see. We got this thing, a ballast. We have a wing panel, so you can actually attach a wing like this, and then add panels, or, or like extra wings to it, like this. That's totally not how it would normally work, but you know, that's a thing. And we have a plow, so you can actually attach a plow to your device. And I think that might be it. There may be something else. Oh, they called this thing a decoupler. It's no longer an explosive bolt. It's not misleading anymore. It's not going to explode. And was this here before? This is a swivel joint. I don't remember if this was here before. But anyway, I want to build a little plow real quick. And then we'll do the torture device, because I, I kind of wanted to do that. I kind of wanted to build a plow. We got some contractible springs here, and now we're going to just need to put some wheels on here. I'm guessing it'll work. And I'll actually try the new wheel thing as well. What you do basically is you take the front wheel and you set it so that it turns one way with right and one way with left. And the opposite front wheel is going to be reverse of that. And then that should work perfectly. So now if you go like this, yeah, it turns. Look at that. You can actually maneuver it a little bit. And the plow is down here so you can actually plow through people and you can actually pull it up if you want. Where's the pull up button? I can't remember. That's the one. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. It actually works insanely well. So you can like crush people with this thing or you can just drive through them, whatever you want to do. And it's actually pretty sturdy besides the loud noises that may mean that it's breaking. But hey, it's it's holding up pretty well considering. Now let's go drive into some people. Hey guys, what you doing? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just a freaking plow. Whoop. <laughs> I love, look at that guy spinning around, little ballerina bitch. Little ballerina bitch. Smash him. There you go. There you go, buddy. Look at this. I actually like this machine. It's so simple, but it works so damn efficiently. Jesus. Okay, so now we're back to the crane again. We're going to need to make some slight adjustments because this thing overhangs quite a bit, and I think it's going to cause problems. We're going to add this to the end. That's what we're going to do first. And the middle part is going to be the torturing, okay? Okay, how is this? That should grab someone perfectly and bring them up, okay? We just need to make this sturdy now. You always got to make things sturdy. That's really important. I can think of so many amazing things I could do with this right now, and I'm going to do them all. Okay. It's really hard to get the saws in there without bumping into each other, but I think this should work. What do you guys think? This is the current torture device. We're going to pick them up. We're going to drop them into the pit of circular saws. Woohoo! That sounds like fun. Oh, it runs beautifully. <laughs> we, just need to, we just need to brace it a little bit, because obviously it's got a little bit of a, a wobble to it. Um, this thing should, okay, those turn, these turn, oh shit, no, 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 that's gonna be a problem, oh yes, it actually works, look at that, it's gonna come back here and it's gonna drop the fucker off right into the torture machine, oh, I didn't think it was gonna work, I was really worried, but when you back up, this thing comes forwards and just drops right down and you pick it right back up again, yeah, boop, <laughs> so easy, come on, there, whoop, Oh, up again. Come on. Is he dead? No, I hope he's not dead. We're not done with him yet. Go in! <laughs> yes! Thank you so... Oh, oh, we killed someone else too. I think the first guy was Luther? No, Benedict. Benedict was the guy. And I know that because there's a guy that died first and a guy that died after. So there's no confusion about which way this uh, list is going here. Benedict is the guy we killed. Rest in peace, Benny, you little bastard. There you go. Flip you up. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, a little bit, little bit of uh, struggle there. Yeah, okay. Okay, we accidentally killed him. That's cool. Okay, who wants to... Oh, come on. Oh, I got someone. I got someone. Go on up. Get up! Ah, you son of a bitch! When you grab them, they... <laughs> when you grab them, they seem to just die. I don't like it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna drive over here and pick someone up and hopefully put them in the saws. Hopefully... They don't die before we get them in there, okay? Because that was a problem. You don't want your people dying before you actually put them in the quote-unquote torture device, okay? Now we got someone. I'm just going to lift them up. There you go. Buddy, you're, you're a bit heavy, okay? You're a bit heavy. God damn it! Go! Oh! No! No, get him up! Why don't you get him up? What's going on here? Seriously? Oh, God. All this work, man. All this work on the freaking grabber and it won't even grab. Who does that? Who doesn't grab? Jeez. Okay, okay, this this is another idea of mine, guys, to get him in there, okay? You press H to bring it out, and you press uh, left control to bring it down. You grab him, you bring it up, and you bring it in. Oh, it might actually work! 
We just need to build it one more up, okay? One more up. So now we should just be able to drive over here. When they start coming towards us, you go out with H, okay? You go down with control, grab someone, bring him in. Oh, no! He hit off the thingy! Now we gotta drop his body in here. Let it get all sod up and stuff. This will happen to you guys if you, if you come over near me, you bitch. I got you. No way to get you in here. Uh, uh, ah, crap. Let's do it. We ready. I'm ready. Hope you guys are, because this is going to be amazing. Because we're going to put a live person in there. Not one of those freaking idiots who dies on their way in. Like, who does that? Who dies on the way into a torture machine? People that don't want to be tortured. I guess. Even though it's not real torture. Okay, just get over it. Here, come on. There you go. Oh, yes. No! No, you son of a bitch! Why? Do I need to brace this? It better work. <laughs> Gently does it, okay? Gently does it. This is very finicky. Oh, don't break! Don't break! Why did you break? Why? There's always something to mess with it. I don't know why it's so hard to just let me grab. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you guys waiting? I hope you're waiting because, because I just figured something out. I know what we can do here. We can go to the options and put on invincible mode. That's perfect! Now we can't break, right? That's what invincible mode is! Hooray for invincible mode! Come on up. There you go, look at that. Oh shit, the machine! The machine! Flipped over! Are you freaking kidding me? It's not that heavy! Oh my god, why is he such a heavy son of a bitch? We gotta put some weights on the back of this thing now. There, you're grabbed. We'll bring you up. And... We're... Oh, Jesus! We gotta prevent that from happening. We're fine, though. We're fine. Just let the back out again. Come on. The machine is invincible! The fucking machine is invincible! Okay, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You're still going. You're 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 still here with me. Oh yeah, you're trapped here with me now. I'm flipping myself back over. I'm flipping myself back. You are in there. You are dying, motherfucker. Okay guys, I'm gonna move on from this for a second because I want to try something else that can help with this. I want to make a platform that can actually fly um, and steer, and I think I know how to do that. It shouldn't be too difficult. So I just need I just need a button to get out the ground and a button to steer left, right, and up and down to keep it stable, and I should be able to fly around. Now, if that went according to plan, it should now go up, and you can tilt it forwards and backwards, just like this. See this? Oh, man, it actually works really well. Wow. So now you can actually drive it over, and you might actually be able to pick people up with it and just bring them. Look at this. Oh, it's amazing. And then you can actually spin it as well if you needed to. Um, I'm just going to land on these guys. That's what I'm going to do. Hold on one second. There we go. Come on, buddy. Get in there. Got him. I got someone. Yes. Okay, now we need to, we need to make sure that we can get over there. Which way are we going? This is really rickety right now. We just need to drop them off in here. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Drop button. Drop button. Yes. We did it. We got him in the torture machine. It worked. Look at his little body performing acrobatics. I love it. There's another guy chasing me around too. Come on over, buddy. Come on over. We got, we got room for another one. Get over here, you little bastard. Oh, I, I heard him. I think I heard him a little bit. Wait. We may be able to go back to our old design now. Yes, we don't need a flying thing anymore. The flying thing was cool. We got it to work, absolutely. But now we can go back to a different design. Are you ready for this? We got a grabber. We're just going to walk over. We're going to grab as many as we can. Let's go right through them. Got a couple. Here we go. Get a couple more. You guys don't even care, do you? You guys don't even care. That's it. We're taking you all. Now I'm assuming this is going to work. I'm just lifting up with L. Lifting up with L. Oh, God. It's, it's too... They're too heavy right now. Okay, let me just drop you guys off for a second. Can I still lift? Oh, I can lift like one of you. Just not multiple. Sort of. We need more. We need more power. Okay, boys, I'm coming again. Here we go. Just gonna walk in and scoop you up. Oh, look. I can actually... Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, will this work? That is the question. Yes, it will. I just killed everyone. And up and over. Shit. Sorry, guys. I think you just died. Oh, there's one guy left. There's one guy left. We can still salvage this thing. Come on. Oh, there's blood coming out of him or something. Gah! Yes. Okay. Okay. We killed him. Seems like this works better when there's just like one guy at a time. Okay. 
I'm I'm just being too ambitious here. Okay, hang on, hang on. Drop you down and go in the torture machine. Yay! He came out again really quick and then he hit a bomb. I'm satisfied with that. Now let's modify the torture machine now this actually works to make it a little more interesting. Oh man, dude, you're gonna love this so much. So much. Here you go. You're in. Oh no, why did you have to do that? You died on impact. Okay, drop him down. Drop him off. God damn you, bro. You know what? Doesn't even, don't even matter anymore. Doesn't even matter. We're just gonna crush him the way he is. We'll crush his dead body. This is in memoriam of this guy. We're gonna slow it down to 4% speed and we're just gonna watch it happen. No, no, even better. 1% speed. There you go. There you go, buddy. Sweet dreams. You beautiful bastard. <laughs> well, that's 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 how that cookie crumbles, I guess. Okay, so since I'm not really sure how long this episode is going to be, I'm going to do one more thing, guys. I'm going to build a train. Someone requested that I build a train of death or something along those lines, and I thought that would be a cool idea. So we're going to do it. We're going to build a train that's going to have explosives in it, of course, because it's not a train of death without explosives. Duh. And of course, between every car, there's going to be a uh, going to be a hinge. Okay, you rotate the hinge like this. You might even be able to put a couple in. And there you have it. Choo-choo, motherfucker. I guess we can just drive it here now. I'm hoping that the cannon will work properly. The train the train does it does steer, okay? It's just it's a little bit bad at steering, but it does work. I think the extra hinge kind of made a difference. So we, we can just come over here, drive it into this building here, drive next to it or something, and then hit C. Boom! I don't really know what caused that to blow up, but something caused it to blow up. And it took it out! So now we're going to have to try this on the last level in the game and see if that works. We're at the last level. We're just going to turn it towards it, obviously. And we need to turn on free build mode because you can't actually beat the level like this because, you know, you're not supposed to be able to build whatever the hell you want. You're supposed to have limits. But we ain't got no limits, so we're just going to drive over here and boom! I don't even think we would have won the level that time. Didn't actually blow that much up. Let's try again! Choo-choo! They blew it up somehow. I don't know how they even did that. Come on, drive up over there. Drive up over the damn thing. And you got some damage, I think. You gotta be very careful not to accidentally set it off. Drive right in next to this thing. There you go. There you go. We, we should wait for the guys to come back, shouldn't we? Nah. Blow it up. Yes! That is how it's done. That that choo-choo train of death, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is actually pretty effective if you know what you're doing, okay? But I'm going to end this video here, guys, because I have been recording for a hell of a long time. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.